Hi divers, my name is Ben, I'm technical diver, cave diver and instructor. In this video I give you 10 reasons to finally switch to a handheld primary light like the new Halcyon EXP, but also 3 reasons not to switch at the very end of this video, so make sure to watch the whole video. Coming up! Handheld primary lights are available for some time now, but most of them weren't powerful enough to keep up with the high demands of technical or cave dives. The Halcyon EXP might be a game changer in this regard. This light was sent to me for free for this video by Faszination Tauschbot in Munich, Germany, which is quite frankly, one of the best shops for technical and recreational divers in Germany, in my opinion. However, I'm not allowed to keep the light in the end and I'm not paid to make this video or say anything positive about it. Everything I say on this channel is always my honest opinion. If you like to see more tech reviews, let me know in the comments. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe and ring the bell. That said, it's time to bring up the question, is it time to dump canister lights and switch to a handheld primary light? Here are my 10 reasons to buy this light, the Halcyon EXP handheld dive light. Reason number one is the fact that this light is extremely lightweight and compact. The battery has 29 watt hours, what means this guy goes easily on the plane. Most airlines restrict lithium ion batteries that can be taken on the plane to 100 watt hours. Before flying, check back with the airline, but with only 29 watt hours, this shouldn't be a problem. This makes this light perfect for travel. I know many divers who travel a lot and already switched to a handheld light just for this reason. But in comparison to the predecessors from Halcyon, the new EXP is smaller, what makes it even better for the traveling diver. Reason number two. Speaking of its compact form factor, this light fits easily inside a pocket of a dry suit. This means you can easily stow it away if you don't use it or, and that's extremely powerful, use it as a primary backup light. For a backup light it might be a bit overkill, performance wise and price wise alike. However, imagine you can keep a second primary light just in your pocket. As a cave diver, I like the idea. Let me know in the comments if you would take it as a second primary light too. Reason number three. The worst downside of handheld lights always used to be the burn time. Halcyon claims a burn time of five hours for the EXP. This light has two dim levels, low, and high. Since a burn time of 5 hours was hard to believe for me, I ran a burn test for this light side by side to my Halcyon Focus 2 canister light to see how long this light's gonna last. I did it once on the high level and once on the low level. Let's see how it performs.
the burn time of this light is incredible. On the high setting, it lasted longer than two and a half hours before it got a little bit dim and started flickering. So I didn't want to really go beyond that point uh, in order not to damage the battery. It was even more incredible on the low setting. On the low setting, this light almost lasted eight hours, which means this is really a game changer. In, quite frankly, a cave environment, you wouldn't use the high setting anyway because it's just too bright. So in a cave setting, I would use the low setting anyway and I use with my focus to the low setting and uh, a burn time of eight hours. Even if it's a little bit used and you got like six hours, it's just more than Halcyon claims for this light. So this is really incredible for such a small handheld light. Reason number four. With the older handheld lights, I always had the impression that the weight distribution wasn't really optimized. This was mainly due to the big and heavy battery. Sure, there were handhelds with smaller batteries in the market, but the burn time was too low to be a good primary light, for example in cave diving. The Halcyon XP offers a reasonable burn time, but the battery is relatively small, which optimizes the weight distribution. Underwater, this light is almost not noticeable, because it's really well balanced, and this, quite frankly, is a reason to buy this light. Reason number five. This is apparently the most obvious reason to buy this light. It has no annoying cord. With corded lights, you either use EO cords or a continuous cord. EO cords tend to break easily, making your lights useless. Continuous cords have the disadvantage that the light head cannot be separated from the battery, which is comfortable when recharging or in training situations. Underwater, the cord increases the risk to interfere with the long hose and make donation of the long hose complicated, if not impossible. Hence, it is a safety risk in some way. Sure, as long as there are corded lights in the market, I advise students to train with a light cord from time to time to be familiar with the handling when performing an astral, for instance. However, having no cord is going to make your life easier, so this is a pro and a reason to buy the EXP or any other handheld light. Reason number six. According to Halcyon, the EXP has the same light output as the Flare or Focus 2 canister light. Sure, the Focus 2 appears to be a bit brighter since you can narrow down the light beam. But if you put both lights against each with approximately the same focus shining at the wall, I cannot see a difference. Anyway, this light is suitable as a primary light even for cave diving and technical diving in terms of light output. I made a short video underwater to see how the light performs. Get ready to watch some B-roll.
Reason number seven, a real game changer and reason to get the EXP is the attractive price point. You can get your hands on this light for around 800 bucks, which is almost half the price of a canister light. It's hard to get a fully fledged primary light for under a grand usually. So for the price of a standard canister light, you can get almost two of these guys. And that's incredible. And for me, a reason to buy this one. Reason number eight. What I really liked is the fact that you do not need to open the battery to recharge it. The EXP comes with a very simple charger. Just punch the light into the charging socket, done. No need to open it, which means there is no risk of having sandy seals leading to leaks and stuff like that. Just that simple. And that is another reason for me to buy it. Reason number nine. What I really like is the Goodman handle. I know many people are complaining about the Halting Goodman handles because it's easy to get a hose or something caught in between. However, for a handheld light, this Goodman handle is perfect because you can just make a light even more compact, protect the glass uh, and the lens, and then you can just put it inside your pocket. It's just around the size of my hand when you just have it like this. And this is what I really like and this is what makes this slide really a nice one. And this is a reason for me to buy this one. Reason number 10. What definitely speaks for Halcyon as a manufacturer is the great customer service. Even after the official warranty, they often fix a damaged light for free. This at least happened to me twice. So I cannot complain about the Halcyon customer support and that would always be a reason for me personally to buy a Halcyon light. Okay guys, I promised you 10 reasons to buy the EXP and three reasons not to buy it. Here are the three reasons not to buy a handheld light. The first reason is that you cannot use the battery of the EXP with an active heating system. On one hand, it would be too small. Watch my video about active heating systems to find out how much energy these systems consume. On the other hand, there's nothing to plug in an active heating system. So if you like to use a heating vest, you're gonna need an external battery anyway. However, some people like to use separate batteries for the light and the heating, so using a cordless light like the EXP and an active heating system with a battery canister on your belt is less messy. The second reason not to buy this light is that it has no cord. This is an advantage and a disadvantage alike. Having no light cord eliminates the problems light cords bring in, like entanglement. But when diving this light, I always have the idea that I could lose it accidentally. Frankly, I never lost a corded light head from my hand, but if it happens with a handed light, this thing will be gone. Did ever a light head slip off your hand? Please leave me a comment and tell me. So, this seems a bit unrealistic to me. However, if the light is clipped off, the cave line could break and that happened to me before. In this case, I could just store this light away into my pocket instead of permanently clipping it away. Reason number three not to buy this light is the fact that the battery is not interchangeable. I made this point a pro point because it reduces the risk of leakages. However, in regards to logistics, it can make things complicated. 
If you do multiple dives a day without the option to charge in between, it's nice to just have a second or third battery to use or just use a battery with a higher capacity. That's easy with a corded light, but close to impossible with the EXP because yeah, you cannot change the battery. However, for the price of a second or a larger battery, you can almost get another EXP. So instead of buying a larger battery, you cannot take on the plane anyway. Or buying several smaller batteries to change in between dives, you could just buy a second EXP for almost the same price. So let's sum it up. I think Halcyon made a fantastic job with this light with the EXP. It is a lightweight and compact handheld primary light with enough burn time even for longer dives. It feels nice on the hand and is even small enough to be stored away into a pocket. The question in the beginning was if it was time to throw out your corded lights. I don't see many disadvantages of handheld lights anymore. I wouldn't dump my corded Focus 2 since it still works great and it still has some more burn time for really, really long dives. But I think I'm going to buy an EXP anyway as a backup primer light or the primer light for traveling and recreational dives. But what do you think? Is the age of corded lights over or are we going to use them for some more time? Leave me a comment, hit subscribe, ring the bell and watch my other videos. See you there.